We want to write the given exponential equations as logarithmic equations. Looking at our notes below, we have two equivalent equations, one as a log equation and one as an exponential equation. So we need to understand the placement of the base, exponent, and number in both equations. B is the base, A is the exponent, and N is the number. It's important to remember that a logarithm is an exponent. Notice in exponential form, a is the exponent, and in the log equation, the log is equal to a. Looking at our first exponential equation, we have m raised to the power of n equals q. So the base is m, our exponent is n, and the number is q. So we know we'll have a logarithm. It's gonna be equal to something. Well, again, our base is m, so that goes here. A logarithm is an exponent. The exponent is n, so the log must equal n. And it's equal to q, so our number is q. And again, to double check this, we'll start with the base, work our way around the equal sign to make sure that we form the exponential equation. m raised to the power of n is equal to q. So our log equation is correct. Next, we have 10 raised to the power of z equals w. The base is 10. The exponent is z, and the number is w. So again, we'll have a logarithm with an equal sign. Our base is 10, that'll be this small number here. A logarithm is an exponent. The exponent is z, so it's equal to z. And it's equal to w, so our number is w. Just to double check this, we have 10 raised to the power of z equals w, so this is correct. And because we have log base 10, this is common log, so the base of 10 is not needed. We can write this as the common log of w equals z. And now for our last example, we have e to the x equals y, so our base is e, the exponent is x, and the number is y. So again, we'll start with a logarithm and an equal sign. Our base is e, so we have a little e here. The exponent is x, so the log must equal x. And this is equal to y, so our number is y. Let's double check this. We have e raised to the power of x equals y. So again, this is correct, but because this is log base e of y, we want to rewrite this as natural log y equals x. Remember, natural log is log base e. I hope you found these three examples helpful.